Hey guys, so uh, first thing first, I want to apologize for the camera quality of this video. I'm having to film it on my laptop because my brand new camera was actually stolen. Um, I don't know who stole it. It got uh, stolen while I was moving out of my apartment and yeah, now this is all I have. That's a lot of the reason why I haven't been posting anything. Sorry, kind of out of breath. Just had to run downstairs and let the cat out. <sighs> Anyways, uh, so my camera was stolen, so low quality video. Um, <clears throat> I mostly wanted to come on here, not for any general life updates, not for um, anything really fun or, you know, like discussion topics or anything. It's uh, just because I've been getting a lot of questions about AMDA, uh, not only on here, but I had a lot of questions from my friends and everything, and uh, it's been an insane ride. So, as you can see, or I mean, I guess you probably can't see, but I am not in New York right now, and the plan was to move to New York around June 1st or so, but um, I went to New York. I said I was going to vlog that, but it was actually a pretty miserable trip. Uh, we couldn't afford to take a plane, so we had to drive, and it's a 24-hour straight drive if you don't stop. So I drove 12 hours, and my mom drove 12 hours, and we were bickering the whole time, and we were tired, and my neck hurt, and I was tired of driving, and I couldn't sleep well, and she couldn't sleep well. She couldn't take her medicine to sleep, but it was just, it was hell. Uh, driving to New York from Oklahoma is hell. Um, I wouldn't suggest it to anyone. I would suggest save up, maybe take a bus. Uh, if you can't afford a plane or if you can't afford a plane, take that privilege and roll with it. All power to you. Um, but it was miserable. So I, and we were only in New York for maybe a few hours before we decided to leave. Um, so I guess here I want to talk about my entire experience with going to AMDA, seeing AMDA, and why I'm not going to AMDA. Um, so it started with the car ride there. It was really miserable. I realized how awful it would be, the process of moving there would be, um, with a U-Haul and everything and traffic. And there's this Pennsylvania, uh, maybe not even Pennsylvania, I don't know. There's this, um, toll booth and I'm used to toll booths in Oklahoma we have them all the time toll roads totally normal like 250 max maybe five dollars if you're on a really expensive one but it's not bad and we went through one and it was thirty dollars <laughs> I don't know that's not a reason why I'm not moving to New York but it, it made me kind of mad and we were like we don't have thirty dollars in cash so sorry and they had to send us a bill to the house, whatever. Um, so we drove to New York, it was really miserable. We had to get a motel in Jersey and they barely had any. And uh, so we got to Jersey and then the next day, uh, so we got to Jersey on a Thursday and we had to Uber into New York the next day because I was not about to drive through New York traffic my first time ever going to New York. and. What sucked is that we didn't go to New York with money. We just went to visit a school. Like whenever I went to Wichita, I just went to visit a school. I didn't go to, you know, tour, but it's also New York. So I mean, it's kind of my fault for not saving, but. So it wasn't a particularly fun experience. We didn't get any hot dogs from any hot dog stands. It, Times Square was a big mess. I hated it. I hated being in it just because I wasn't in a big group of friends. I was there with my mom and we were really uncomfortable and uh, then I realized how it would be to live there alone uh, because I wouldn't be able to live in the dorms. I'd have to live in an apartment because the dorms are really expensive and so we got there. We expected to be able to work something out with my financial advisor because up until that moment it looked pretty grim as to my attendance there due to finances. Um, so anyways, we got to AMDA. It was very underwhelming, I would say, um, being at AMDA. Uh, I'm Not to say it's not a wonderful school, obviously. It's one of the best in the country as far as 
conservatory and what I'm looking for, but um, it was very underwhelming being in this space because it wasn't anything glamorous. It was just a lot of rooms that had different, you know, they were reserved for different things. They didn't even really have a main stage. I think maybe they had one and you only used it like at the end of the year for a recital. And maybe I've been spoiled because we put on like seven productions a year at my school, at my high school. So I was used to like being on main stage stuff constantly. And so that really was kind of ugh. And then, uh, I was looking at the rooms and they were all really small and really cramped and there's a lot of stairs and the library was not nearly as large as you know it could have been and a lot of the space was actually designated for dancers uh, that I saw dancers got most of the space and uh, I mean I understand why it was just I'm going there for acting and seeing one of the other arts got a majority of the space. There was kind of, I, I don't know, but it was definitely New York. The air conditioning was not that great. It was pretty warm inside. Maybe I'm being picky because it's really hard to impress me, but I wasn't incredibly impressed being in New York and seeing the campus and everything. Um, I realized how much I would have to go through to get to the school and then finally when we sat down with my financial advisor <coughs> we sat down with my financial advisor I realized I couldn't afford to go here it was it was going to be twenty one thousand dollars every fifteen weeks that's one five not five zero every fifteen weeks I would have to pay twenty one thousand out of pocket now the normal um, academic year which is uh 15 weeks uh or no it's 30 i think it goes on for like 15 months i don't know but um every academic year is about uh 42,000 so i got about half taken off but even at that i couldn't afford to go <clears throat> cuz it was super duper expensive and that's after loans and scholarships and everything that i applied for um that i got at auditions uh and I couldn't do it. It was way too expensive. Um, but after seeing the campus, I realized the main reason I wanted to go there is more for opportunity because it is New York. You know, you have a lot of opportunity going to a school in New York and getting known and, you know, um, being involved. But it, I don't think it was for me. Uh, I'm definitely more of a theater person than a movie person, but I, I think if I were to audition again, I'd audition for the LA campus um, because I feel like that'd be more my route because LA is kind of just like an expanded version of New York and it's warmer. <laughs> um, of course there's the drought thing to worry about but yeah. I'm not going to AMDA. Actually, uh, these next two years I will be attending my community college here because I get 75% of my tuition off. Uh, because uh, here, if you are a resident in the county, for a certain amount of years of high school, every year of high school you attended, you get 25% off of your tuition. And they have an amazing theater department and where I'm moving is directly next to the campus. and. It just seems like the best option and at the end of every year I actually did that this year but I was already accepted into AMDA so I didn't actually care about what schools wanted me but um there's this thing that my community college holds every year and it's where there are 40 representatives from college in one room and you audition with two um, one and a half minute model or 45 second monologues so it's a minute and a half total um, two contrasting monologues in front of those 40 people so you audition for 40 colleges all at once and uh, it's a really great opportunity so I'm just gonna stick here for a couple of years I just moved in with my boyfriend and I don't know we'll see what happens but I was kind of disappointed to not go to AMDA but I'm really happy not to be in debt so yeah sorry to disappoint you guys I know you were 
excited and expecting all of those vlogs and moving to New York and you know like knowing someone who did it but I couldn't and uh, just to have the finances and it sucks that we live in a world where opportunity is determined by money but that's just how it is especially going into a career that is largely dependent on money so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll try to update as best as I can but again my camera was stolen so I'm kind of screwed here but I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day